I've turned London into a giant ball game, and now these two teams have four hours to race around the tube map. Three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go. We're off. We're off. Let's go, let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Go this way. Crash dust. Oh! Chaos! Welcome to line dancing. Here's how the game works. The teams take it in turns to pull up to five station cards from any combination of the three decks. Every card is worth points based on how long it takes to reach from here, Trafalgar Square. To claim the points, the team has to visit that station before they end their run back here. But if they don't reach it, they lose that many points instead. Oh, that's very doable. They also lose one point for every five minutes they are late to finish. We've got a little bit of a sneaky plan up our sleeves. Okay. If we go straight to Charing Cross, that's going to scare the other team. Yep. They might start gunning for us. We're going to go slightly further out, maybe try and get Sudbury Hill Piccadilly lines just up there. So we've got four cards, happy with the Lizzie line, yep. nice cool heading out east, yep. and then I think we'll come back and try and knock out some central ones and see how we go from there. Three, two, one, go! Now, where were we? Charing Cross is literally right there. There's, we're literally running away from a point. We're coming back here anyway, so it's a guaranteed point. Let's figure out which way we're actually going. Well, at least I see them still there. They're walking now. We're off to Embankment. Yeah. We're actually going to head west first to Stamford Brook. Oh, it's so nice and cool. And welcome to Leicester Square. I am a very silly goose. I completely forgot that the Northern Line also comes through here. It comes through Charing Cross as well, so why do we bother running? We can get that and go to Brent Cross. Let's run because I hear a train. Terminating at Edgware. Okay, that is exactly what I wanted to hear because that means this train's going direct to Brent Cross. All right, heading into Embankment after a brief period of confusion as to which street we should walk down. So we've come prepared with little lanyards. <laughs> they go stretch. All right, so we've got two minutes till district line service to Ealing Broadway. So after a week of heat wave here in London, it's only 24 degrees at 10 a.m., but it feels like probably 30. So hopefully we cool down as the day goes on, but I very much doubt that would be the case. We're going to head west all the way out to Stamford Brook. Then I think we're going to come all the way back, probably change at Whitechapel. It's going to center around Whitechapel, I think, for the second part of the day. So fun fact, somewhere out there, there's some sort of werewolf movie. I can't remember what it's called, but one of the scenes is a bloke running away from this werewolf at an underground station. Now, the station in the movie is apparently Tottenham Court Road, but Actually, it was filmed here, at Warren Street. I bet you didn't know that. Anything from the other team? No, because we're in a tunnel. And that's a tunnel heading northbound on the Northern Line towards their first station, Brent Cross. Meanwhile, Jubilicious are heading west on the District Line towards their first station, Stamford Brook. Yes, we're doing this lo-fi. So we got this little map uh, from the was the Liverpool Street Station um, from a very disgruntled employee, but she was very friendly and she she wasn't very friendly. She was kind of mean. We originally had a strategy before we even pulled cards where we were going to just do the obligatory one of these, knock that out instantly, and do a load of small ones. Uh, however. I suspect the other team had the exact strategy that we did and that they are just going to knock out their far out one first. Our far out one is Upminster in the very far east and do you want to go to the very far east? Nah. The only thing to bear in mind though is that it is 11 points. It is 11 points. We can make that up if we draw some closer stations. Okay, here's another quick rule for you. After claiming their first station, teams are able to draw as many more station cards as they want. They can either come back to base to draw from me in person, or they can draw remotely, but they have to spend points for remote delivery. A remote draw from zone two costs two points, from zone four it's four points, and so on. So we realized that all of our cards would allow us to be in air conditioning the entire day, which was our biggest fear. No, no deep level tube lines for us today, uh, or at least so far. I'm not sure if we'll draw another card. What do you think uh, the other team's up to right now? I hope that they're in a deep, <laughs> deep, deep line. So Adrian, how does it feel to be at the deepest underground station on the entire network? That's pretty deep. He says it's pretty deep. I think we need better writers. 
Do you think they went to Charing Cross? I actually didn't see where they went other than it wasn't to where we went. I feel like maybe they were walking up to Leicester Square, maybe. Maybe they're off to Heathrow. <laughs> but if you wanted to go to Heathrow, why wouldn't you just do Lizzie Line? Who wants to pay £9 or something when you could pay less? <laughs> yeah. See this video here. I think we got really lucky with the 5 plus. It's relatively quick to get out and back to Romford. 30 minutes from my chapel. So. Would have been a bit more annoying if it was Chesham or something yeah. like that. Just had an idea. To get out to Romford, we actually have the Greater Anglia service running more or less direct with just one stop from Stratford with a half hourly service. So perhaps the better option from Whitechapel is to take the district line to Bromley by Bow and then make our way to Stratford as long as we can time it such that we can take that Greater Anglia service on the half hour. We have left Golders Green. Do you know what that means? That means we are on our way to Brent Cross. As far as I'm concerned, we already have the points. Unless the train derails, as soon as these doors open, the lead is ours. Here we go, here we go. Get us both in. Yeah. So the first station claim of the game goes to Wombling Free, but Jubilicious aren't far off. Only a couple more stations until Stamford Brook. So we just got a text from Lawrence. Brent Cross. Brent Cross. How many points do you reckon that's worth? Well, that's nasty. They got a deep level tube. Yeah. Um, I rescind my previous statement where I said I wish they had a deep level tube experience because player welfare is very important. <laughs> it's taken them about half an hour to get there. Maybe about eight points, roughly based on what we've seen for our cards. So our two choices, we can either spend an hour getting to Sudbury Hill or we can spend 45 minutes getting to Acton. Honestly? I'm tempted to say Sudbury Hill. So shall we do that now? All right, let's go do that. Before we do that though, do we want to draw a disruption yes, card now we do. we've got yes, the point? Yes. I've saved the best big game mechanic till last, disruption cards. Teams can spend three points to draw one of these cards, which are designed to slow the other team down through challenges and restrictions. Each team is carrying an identical deck of 20 cards, which each do something different, not all of them good. What's in your hand? Disruption cards. We're off the mark, we are. We've got our points, we've got enough for cards, so let's do this. We have one more stop, and then we've got possibly three minutes to make a transfer, so we go back the other way. Stamford Brook. Stamford Brook. Well done. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's do an impromptu tube review. Thoughts on Stamford Brook? It's quite nice, open concourse. Lots of pigeon netting. That is true, but no pigeons. And a train that we would love to be on, but has just left. Protection from the wind on this cold winter's day. What tier is it, Tom? <laughs> Since we've got a couple of minutes and we've got eight points at our disposal, I want to use three of those points to pull a disruption card. We don't actually know what these are, so I'm going to give this a, a quick little shuffle. Would you like to pick one? Oh, it's like a magic show. Da -da -da -da. Ba -da -ba. Accessible. You can only use fully accessible transport until your next station has been claimed. Hence, you cannot use stations that do not have a blue disc on the tube map. <gasps> They're on the northern cannot, line. Yeah, you cannot use stations that do not have a blue disc on the tube map. They are on the northern line. The situation is slightly less than amazing. We just got hit with a disruption. Run, 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 run. 